Well, guys, what you're about to see is an episode of 40 Acres. 40 Acres hunting plot of thinned out pines. Ain't really a whole lot to eat on there. Got two food plots and a couple of corn feeders. We had a truckload of hogs, as you can see, that tried to take over. I made a few bad judgment calls, made a few bad shots in this video. But in the end, the job was a success. It took me three days to end a problem that now these landowners can hunt their 40 acres. We don't all have big properties to hunt, but when you have a load of hogs like this take over, well, you gotta do something about it and you gotta do something fast. So y'all sit back, watch the show, cause I gotta, I gotta go. I knocked the heads, now I'm going to feed the family. And that's what it's all about on the Yacht Yacht Show. Come on. All right, guys, we just got gas in the old Toyota. We up at the where we at? Sheriff Station in Mathis, Mississippi, uh, next to the golf cart place over there, GTO Golf Cart. Anyway, ADD kicked in. Anyway, anyway, welcome to the Y'all Y'all Show. We are today, a Saturday, headed to Kosciuszko, Mississippi, which is about an hour and three minutes from my house. So, uh, a landowner, they've been trying to feed a few deer, see what's on camera, and all of a sudden, a big wad of hogs showed up. So, uh, what we're going to do is go down there and see if we can't help them out right here two weeks before deer season actually starts. See if we can't get those hogs out of there and uh, make sure that the food plots and the feeding or whatever's going on is, is strictly for the, uh, the deer management. So that being said, we're just doing a quick run around, making sure that everything, uh, yep, I got a tag on that. <laughs> so if I, if, if I get pulled over by the law, they at least they know who owns this thing. But any which way. Uh, we got in late last night from watching Harlow's football game, so I'm going to show you a few highlights right now of Harlow finally getting a good catch. He's a receiver for the Oak Hill Raiders, and then uh, they finally scored in on a touchdown. On the next play, we did get beat like 40-6, to six, but just always glad that more. My kid is safe, healthy, and gets to play a little ball. So any which way, let's roll. We headed to Kazia School. Turn off 82 on somewhere. I don't know where I'm at, but anyway, you gonna believe this. I just happened to turn on this road, following GPS. Look at here. It looks like spotted some hog rooting right here. Look at all that. Golly. I know that's gotta be hog rooting. It's right there. Proceed to the route. All over there. Anybody seeing me walk out here? Look, it's hog rooting everywhere right here gotta be what it is. I know it's what it is. It's been mean, raining on. It's all out there. That's crazy. I'm only one man. I'm trying. But we're in Stewart. That's where we're at. We just passed Nail's uh, little restaurant, store, whatever it is. But anyway. God. If it ain't hog rooting, they got one heck of a armadillo issue. I can promise you that. There's one thing about it, me and my buddy JP. Turn oh, left. We knock wrong those in the head too, come on. But anyway, still like about 45 minutes before I get to attack. In 10 miles, and, turn uh, right onto on State Highway 407. Y'all don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and yolt.com. Be there, man. Go there. <laughs> we are headed in. Finally made it. He's up here to a little green field, I believe. Just following these guys. I think they said it wasn't like 40 acres in here. Gonna be a little slick right here. Hey, here, boy. Good thing I brought the Toyota. 
They said it was squeezing. <laughs> They're probably like, what are you doing? Anyway, he's out here in this open in just a second. Oh, I see right there. I'm a little late on the part of what we was doing down here, guys. But we got the uh, pig pig trap set up right here. And uh, anyway, put some corn in there around that feeder where uh, hogs had been coming. Now, I think I said we was like on a 40 acre parcel. And y'all see when we were coming in, it's, it's a bunch of pines. And I really like pines because it, it's not a whole lot of other feed uh, around. But we had to be ready because other deer hunters from other areas and these hogs will roam to find that feed. So right now, we're trying to knock a, a block down of uh, pigs. Hopefully, we got it, we got everything set up. And then uh, the main thing after this is it's slick this morning. So got to see if Toyota can get back out of here. But... Uh, we got it all set up and ready, so y'all know how it is. The next time I see y'all, I hope it's hogs in the trap. Well, good morning. We are headed on the road back down to Kazi Esco. We done got a little gas there. We're always at the gas station, it seems like. As much roll as I do, it's a bombing 53 degrees this morning. Had to pull out the hoodie. When I went up there to cut the air conditioner on, off my wife likes to run it on like 69 i went there this morning and i seen it was 68 outside and i was like oh it looked cool now it's 53 outside <laughs> it's 53 <coughs> but anyway the way got me a little frappuccino i got that green tea in there we're fixing to get on the road head down to kaziesco see if we can't get those pigs it's supposed to have some help i'm not sure yet i'm hoping the help shows up i've been watching the pigs since i woke up they're acting a little frisky. I don't understand it why they want to be so frisky this morning. So I want to get down there and see if we can't get them knocked down. But hey, in the meantime, y'all watch the drop. I'm headed south and uh, we'll see you at daylight, okay? Y'all have a good one, they say. <laughs> Waking up this morning, gonna be a good day. Right. Well, we pulling on in here. Now, we ain't got no gates, but that ain't gonna change the hog's fate. Come on, see he's on up here and get, get our trailer loaded up. Get on down here, boys. over the trees <laughs> well maybe my help's just a little late but they kind of said they'd be here but they ain't we came back up just a little bit your trailer back there somewhere <laughs> i'll hook up to it and wait good morning good morning we're gonna get the trailer hooked up right here and uh, anyway, we're gonna ease them down here. I can hear the pig down there. Why do you make a noise? Hmm. Let's go on down there. Look tight. Again. Mm. Gonna roll 
up on these pigs right here. This loud trailer. <laughs> I hate making all that noise. I'm trying to be bouncing, carrying on. So, I got a little load of them there. I think I'm missing one. Pretty sure I'm missing one. Cause I think I caught 13 and I don't see it. I thought I didn't see the quail in there. That tells me one of them. That big boar hole, there's a big boar hole in here. Uh, may not be quail. But, uh, there's a good group of them anyway. <laughs> Eating size hogs. Good little eating size hogs. Good look at them. Come a little bit of help down the hill. Got us a little help here. Finally got some help in. All right, so we got a few issues. Mm -hmm. First issue is the giant hog jumped out before I got here. Okay. I already saw it was gone when I pulled yeah. it. I was watching them live, and I was like, it's only 12. So I knew the big one had jumped out. Is that is that the one you killed at the front field? Well, when I come around the corner, when you sent me that picture, yeah. come around the corner to the first field, I was going to stop. He was up under the feeder. So I shoulder shot him. I just had to, because by yeah, the time yeah. I saw him, I mean, I shot him off the side of the yeah. truck, you know, so I put yeah. one in him. Good. And he spun around and shot off. But when I got here, I realized, I mean, I knew there wasn't no big one in there. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. anyway, oh, it sucks because we waited that whole time for that big one to come in. Yeah. And then he just, but what it is, you can kind of tell this, this I think it's because this, this, this trap goes downhill. Yeah. And I just got to run and he just got yeah. run. But I had watched him through the night. And he kept standing up, standing up. I'm like, He'll figure it out. That one will. But anyway, we got 12, I think. I hope it's 12. Oh. All right, guys is getting the stuff lined up for a picture over there. And uh, I didn't want to get too close because I got a, it looks like a little massacre in there, which it is, because I showed up and that's what I do. And uh, anyway, we'll talk about it here in the more here in just a little bit. We're going to get us a picture and uh, get some blood covered up. And uh, we'll just knock some heads on us. And you can go to yaltyalt.com and see the head knocking if you want to. Over the shoulder. I had a guy over the shoulder. <laughs> lined up. A lot of people don't understand how much work it actually is. Uh, especially when you're by yourself. But we're gonna, and then we got to get them in the back of the truck. I actually thought I wasn't going to have no help, but they said they was coming. So, Oh, what a wonderful life. So we're going to get us a picture lined out right here. And uh, of all lined out in front of the trap. And then... They think they think that's the hard part. <laughs> we got to get them in the Yoda. <laughs> so, oh, I hope the Yoda can pull the trap and all them hogs. If they're 100 pounds, they pay what, 75 pounds maybe? Yeah. 50, 65, 60, 60, just say 60 times 12, whatever that is. Y'all add it up. I like when y'all do y'all's math over there. Uh, anyway, we're going to get lined up and get a picture, and then we're going to start loading up pigs. All right, guys, we're going to get them loaded up, but... I might have to come out this pull over real quick. Oh, look at it. I got a dry sheet in there. I'm just gonna do I'm gonna give me some gloves while they kind of loading up too. Oh man, I got a 
Got one left. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. We'll put it right there for right now. Thank you. Worn out. <laughs> <laughs> that biscuit I had this morning, gone. It's gone. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'm breathing hard for these boys. So we're getting ready to uh, put these panels back on the trailer, put the haul trap back on the trailer since we don't got the hauls loaded up and everything. So y'all just sit back and see how fast we can work. All right, guys, another job caught by the yacht. As you can see, we got a load of pigs in the Toyota. Might be squatted down a little bit, but you can see what this is, is a little food plot area. And what was gonna happen was, uh, you're basically just gonna have hogs come in here and root all this up once they plant in the food plot. So we got the hogs out of the way, now the deer, turkeys, whatever else can have a little feast. As you can see, got a little shooting house right there. Look like the hog done tore one of them down. <laughs> anyway, we finna ease on out of here and uh, get up there to the front. We'll end this and send this video to the interweb. <laughs> All right. Let's ease on up out of here in the woods. Don't tear up, man. I might have a CDL license, but... <laughs> Tear up license too. I tear up every time. Hey, I appreciate everybody going to yachtyacht.com and being a fan subscriber. I really appreciate that. Appreciate y'all buying merchandise. <laughs> Thorn just got my thumb. But yes, I didn't uh, video earlier because I didn't have a chance, but I'll tell you what happened while ago. Y'all probably asking like uh, about shooting that hog. So when I come around the corner early, when I come down here, you see that feeder I'm, I'm coming up on? There was a hog standing under that feeder and uh, it's about an 80 yard shot or so. Anyway, I put it right on his neck area. He had neck area 
and uh, I guess I just pulled it because I was sitting when I was coming come around this figure I had my gun sitting right here and uh, had a good steady shot but he was standing right up under I mean right up under and uh, he run right in there and uh, I know y'all probably were saying get rid of that 22 mag get rid of it no I'm not <laughs> you ever shot a 270 out the cab of a truck Ooh, it's rough. Look at him. We got the Batman. They got the Batman big hip. <laughs> the Batmobile. Ooh. Anyway, we headed on out. And, uh, but that being said, if anybody wants to send me a bigger rifle than a 22 mag to shoot these hogs with, just hit me up. Just hit me up. I'll meet you down there at Garage Pond and Gun <laughs> in West Point, Mississippi. Or you can just call down there and just buy one. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I've knocked a lot down with 22 mag, but sometimes it be like that. So, I mean, people shoot on bold airs are gonna find them. So, anyway, I know y'all give me, I know there's a certain people on here give me a lot of hate over that, but uh, when it's hogs, man, I just can't stand them. They like rats. Hey. hey man. You need some hogs? Yeah. I, I, I some hogs, sir. Okay. Alright, it's gonna be a little bit before I can get there, but I'm, I'm I'll be headed to your uh place here shortly. Uh give me about an hour. Okay, what, what we got? Twelve. Twelve. Cool. But they but they nice size. They they the the good eating size. All right, man. They ain't too big to handle. Alright, I'll be alright. Okay, buddy. All right. See you in a little while. All right. Bye. All right, guys. We just finished up this job. I really appreciate y'all trusting you. me and hired me to do this. Absolutely. And, appreciate uh, you. Like I said, I know it's 12 out of the 14, and, and then I, you know, I, I put one in a, in a hole, but, you know, I've always told people I ain't the greatest shot. But <laughs> <laughs> we just send it. But uh, hopefully y'all won't have much trouble. Y'all can have a good deer season and whatnot. And uh, uh, for doing the food plots, I was telling people, you know, if I was putting food plots, those pigs were destroyed those little areas before Absolutely. you even could have uh, done anything. So, but anyway, which way, I got one more thing for y'all. Uh, hey, what's that? They actually, they actually had bought some the other day. So, <laughs> but also, you said your son wanted one anyway, but uh, I don't have a Sharpie to sign it to, to de-appreciate the value of the <laughs> 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 you know, Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate much. it. And y'all, so you can go to yawkyawk.com and get those hats and t-shirts and whatnot and be a fan subscriber. If you would, keep this channel growing. And uh, I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next job and we're, that we're already ready for. So y'all know how it goes. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. <laughs>